with me. Dear God, may the words of my mouth and the listening ears of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. She was shocked the first time someone said it, told her her birthday was not on a good day. She'd always felt very special to be born on December 24th with all the candles and the presents and the celebrations that never ended, and school on holiday break. She always thought it was just a great day to be born. But you have to share your birthday with Christmas. That must be a bummer, her friend said. No, I get to share my birthday with Jesus, and that's the best, she replied. In a way... We all share our birthdays with Jesus. Jesus' birth into this world made all of our birthdays mean something special. We are born into a world where God's love for us is so much that God came to be in it, to bless it, to bless us, to tell us that life matters, that our lives matter. God will not give up on this world, no matter what. And God will not give up on us. The things that aren't going right can feel overwhelming. The storms rage and the violence is noisy and the world seems like it needs to be born all over again. We look around at our lives and the lives of the people we know, the people we care about, And a lot of the time, life is harder than we want to think it is. A lot of the time, life is harder than we want to believe it is. And right into that mess, the Word becomes flesh and lives among us. Right into the stormy places, right into the hurt places, the light comes and shines and says, you know this story that feels too good to be true? It's actually too good not to be true. You know this promise that God came to be us, knows what it's like to love and to hurt and to care for each other? It is the truth that cannot be stopped, has not been stopped for 2,000 years. We are the beloved children of a God whose love for us shows up again and again. No matter how far away we wander, the light of the world is calling us back, showing us the way home. The way of peace is pointing the way, and we get to follow the word made flesh for us. Once a long time ago, I read a devotion by Frederick Buechner, and I remember he said something about how we know Jesus in the self-portrait of Rembrandt, and in Handel's Messiah, and in the high school math teacher. And in the man that works at the meat market. We know all that because God is with them, Emmanuel. And if we know God is with them, well then maybe, just maybe we can believe that God is with us. Where is Jesus in your life right now? Where has he been this year? Where do you hope Jesus will be in the future? Where does the world need him to be this Christmas? Ask yourself these questions and find your life in him. Point the way toward him. Sing from your soul for him. Christ was born and Christ lives in us. It is the hope on which we can build our lives, on which we can celebrate our birthdays every year. It is the hope that tells us the light came into the world and nothing, nothing, nothing can ever overcome it. 
There's a poem, it's anonymous, from Argentina. It goes like this. They told me that you came back to be born every Christmas. That you have a message that's called the gospel. And a church, that's us. A church that wants to be the servant of all. A church that knows that because God became human one Christmas, the way to love God is to love all people. If that's the way it is, Jesus, come to my house this Christmas. Come to my country. And first of all, come to my heart. In Jesus' name. Amen.